Okay, this is a Fluval A202. This is the new pump from Fluval. It's a great air pump. Um, I've used this before, um, but it was the A201. Um, this is meant for 80 US gallons or 300 litres. Let's just zoom in a little bit. Now, I do have some reservations about this, but it is a very good air pump that has got these great large feet and I'll show you the unit in a minute. Now on this version it has two outlets that are adjustable separately which is very good. It can be mounted in two separate ways either on the wall or on the floor. It only literally comes with the unit and that so don't expect miracles. Now I'll go and get the unit and we'll put it in shop. Okay now this is the unit. Now I do have some reservations as I told you before. Now the first reservation I have is it's extremely chunky for what for what it is. Um, it looks to be about two and a half maybe three inches um, and I don't like this. Let's have a look here. These are not proud so they're just set in which means it's hard to get airline tubing on. It is quiet but it is expensive and it's the new range which is a little bit annoying. Um, Let's have a look at some details on the back. Well, it actually says 3.8 watt here. Uh, on the box it says 3 watt, which is quite confusing. However, I did have some reservations on these. You see, a lot of the air pumps you get, all it does, when you adjust these, it puts the pressure onto this one. Okay. This does the same thing. However, it is quite quiet, so I'm going to get some airline tubing, never test it without airline tubing, and we're going to set it up over by the sink and see about the air bubbles that come out and the noise. So we'll get it running in a second. Okay, that's the unit on. Now I'm going to show you what I mean. If I turn this, you can obviously hear the amount of noise that comes out. That's why you should always test them with airline tubing. This was as difficult as I expected. However, we're going to see about the bubbles. So let's have a look here. Now, as you can see, that's pumping out a lot of air. Now, I'm going to turn it down and turn the other one on. It's basically stopped it, okay? That can't be right. No matter what I do, it's... Hmm. so I'm not overly impressed with it. It's okay and it does pump out a lot of air. But obviously if you've got two sponge filters and you don't adjust them correctly or one gets blocked up or clogged up, hang on, let me turn that off. So yeah, if you've got two sponge filters running and one of them's getting a lot of um, gunk and muck then it's going to block up a little bit. The other one's going to go 10 to the dozen, so it's going to slow it down a bit. So we're going to keep on testing air pumps. Um, this is the second in the series, really. Well, third if you count the Eheim I done a while back. Um, am I impressed with the unit? For the price, no, I'm not. There are better ones, um, even the um, the one that I done earlier, the Tetra. That, in my opinion, is still the winner for me. Um, it is a little bit noisier than this one. However, it's got dual things that... You, that, that basically are even regardless you don't need to adjust them um, I would use this just for sponge filters because it does pump out a lot of air so it would make sense to use it for that reason uh, and I say you can mount it like that on the wall or like that which is quite of an average but the filter in it is tiny which is there but the reliability of flu valve goods are exceptional so you know I would recommend this for that reason I'm going to test another one shortly um, I think it's made by a company called Arena, so we're going to have a look at that. Uh, good day, guys. Have a good one.